Welcome to this video from In 28 Minutes. Thanks for helping us provide awesome learning experiences to more than 300,000 learners across multiple platforms, Udemy, Safari and Pact. Let's welcome our lead instructor, Ranga Rao Karanam. In this video, we would be talking about five most important coding standards. What are the five most important coding standards from the perspective of an application maintenance? The first one is how you name your variables, methods, and classes. That's the most important part of programming. How you name your variables, how you name your methods, how you name your classes. Try and give bad names to your variables, try and give bad names to your methods and classes, and you would see that it becomes very, very difficult to understand them. So over here, I'm not talking about having the first letter as a character or something like that. I'm talking about real name. The name of the variable should represent what value it contains. The name of the method should represent what action it is performing. The name of the class should be a noun representing exactly what that class is supposed to do. If you are unable to give a good name to a variable or a method or a class, then it means there is something wrong with how you are approaching things. So naming is the most important part of coding standards. And unfortunately, there is no automated way of checking whether you're giving name good names. The only way you can do that is by manual review. So having peer reviews is the only way to check if you are giving good names to your variables. The second important coding standard is complexity. How many conditions do you have in your code? How many conditions do you have in your method? Cyclomatic complexity is a great measure of finding out how complex your method is. And the more complex your method is, the difficult it is to understand. The third one is the size of the methods and the size of the classes. You would want to have as small methods as possible because that's when you can name them very well. Same is the case with classes. You'd want as small classes as possible. So the third important coding standard is the size of the methods and classes. For complexity, I don't like methods which are greater than 10. So cyclomatic complexity of a method should always be less than 10. The length of the method should not exceed whatever you can see on a single screen. And the size of a class should never exceed more than 200 lines. The fourth important thing is duplication. You should have as minimum duplication as possible in your code. Typically, the standard we use is like 5%. The last one is readability of code. When I look at any piece of code, I should be able to understand it very, very quickly. So these are the five important coding standards that I would love to have in my applications. The first and the last are the most difficult ones because they're difficult to check. A tool will not be able to tell whether a name of a variable is good and the tool will not be able to tell if the readability of code is good. So these two things would need manual reviews. The rest three in between are things which you can automate with tools like Sonar. So you can check complexity using Sonar. You can check the size of the methods and classes using Sonar and duplication as well using Sonar. So run your code in, in continuous integration and make sure that you have all these checks automated and have a good time. In 28 Minutes is providing awesome learning experiences to 300,000 learners across platforms like Udemy, Safari Online and Pact. We have clogged million hours of learning in the last few months. Thanks for watching. Keep learning in 28 minutes.